Hello, welcome back. I'm Silver Senny. Now, as you can probably tell, this is going to be a different style of video. Now, if you didn't know, I'm a massive Star Wars fan. Love the show, love the films. Um, love the whole universe. As you can see, I've already got two lightsabers that I own in the background. So I've got Luke, while well, I'm on a Wendu one. They're both Force FX sabers. Now, if you don't know... What Force FX is, is basically Disney have their own branded sort of like collector's item, which is called Force FX. Like you can buy them and they're called Force FX and they're like proper electronic, like collectible ones. So as you can see, they're like proper, they like open everything. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Oops. Now, the reason I'm on this site is because. I want to build my own. I want to build my own custom lightsaber. And these are the probably the best people to do that for me. Now, they're a production company in the US of A. They're probably one of the best I've heard of in terms of custom saber builds. Now, there's a few of them out there. There's um, Saber Forge, which is obviously this one. There's Vader's Vault. Um, and there's... Oh, God, what's the other one? Ultra Sabers. Now, Ultra Sabers are kind of like a cheaper option, a much cheaper option. Vader's Vault are the only ones that I've seen could potentially be compared to Saber Forge, but in terms of quality, but I think they're only canon sabers only, so it's only like character sabers. Whereas these do your own custom parts and custom electronics. That said, because they're in the US of A, their shipping time is a long time. Because not all, well for me it is anyway personally because I'm in Britain, and not only that, all right. So for context, James Poison Rogue, his pictures there. He bought one back in January. Now it's now the sixth of May, and he still hasn't even had his built yet. So they take a long time building it, but that's good. That means they're putting quality into it. That, might, that means that they're building it properly. The only issue now is we've got a pandemic going on. So this is going to be even longer than usual. So with that in mind, we're going to ignore that. And we're going to do it anyway. Because they're probably one of the best. And I want my own custom lightsaber. Now they have a range of different sabers. They have like cheap versions. They have like more specifically for dueling. They have fancy ones. They have sort of different design ones than standard so we're gonna go through them dead quick just because i don't want this video to drag on for ages so we have the eco ones here which are kind of like the cheaper ones which they're not really that much in terms of customization but they're more of a cheap option if you just want to you know like a non-standard lightsaber to use for either cosplay or for collector purposes it's completely up to you they've got a few decent ones here i like that proge uh, progenitor can't speak I like the aggressor. It's pretty cool. And they've obviously got like some fancy style ones there, like a katana variation. They have Shoto, which I think are shorter ones. So these are like these would be good for kids or for people like a uh, Yoda cosplay or something like that, you know. Just something because I think that the hilt's really small. And that's why these ones are there. So they're for kids, basically. Um if you fancy treating your kid to a lightsaber. Get a Shoto Saber. Um, they can be customised. Uh, more than the Eco Sabers I believe. Uh, we have the Apprentice Sabers. Which I believe are more for dueling. So they're more like steady built. They're more like. The lighter. The electronics inside them are lighter. The materials are lighter and things like that. So they're more specifically for combat. Which is pretty cool. They have some cool looking ones on there. They have the Elite ones. Which are kind of like the more fancy builds. When the page loads, you'll see. Yeah, so this this is when you start to see some of the canon ones as well. So like, as you can see, they're Fallen Order Mark II. That's Cal Kestis. Um, there's another one somewhere. Although it might be in the sold out section, but they have. Um, 
Where is it? Oh. It's gone. They have Redeemer, which is Obi-Wan's. They have Prodigal Son. That's the one I was looking for, which is Luke's. They have uh, Katano, which is Ahsoka Tano. But then they have some, like, personal ones. They have also Bane there, which is Dooku. But then they have some, like, custom ones as well. So they have, like, the Black Lotus, which has, like, grips on the hip, on the blade. They have, like, Descendant, which has got wraps and uh, fabrics on. Desert Warrior, which has, like, teeth on and stuff like that. So they're all pretty cool. They have exotic sabers, which are kind of, like, the non-standard. So they have, like, a lightsaber axe. They have uh, lightsaber staffs. Um... They have ones with the cross guard on. So if you wanted like a Kylo Ren style one, you could get that. Or if you wanted like a kind of cross guard one, but with it going up, you've got that option as well. Battle staff. Then they have a crystal section as well, which is like lightsabers with the kyber crystal in. Now these are cool. These are awesome. So I'll use this one just as an example. Yeah, I think I'll have to go out tab. So this is crystal exalted. Now, a crystal is basically an extra part of the saber where you can add a kyber crystal into it. So these are pretty cool because you can actually have like the actual crystal itself while you're using the blade. So as you can see it there, or even if you don't, if you don't want it, you can take it out. Like you can just use the blade normally, but that's like just an extra part. That's like a cool feature if you want your crystal out and about. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm gonna close that. So. With that in mind, the one I'm going to go for today is an Elite Saber. So it's going to be on this page. Now I already know which one I'm going for. And it is going to be the Reliant Saber. Now with Saber Forge, what you can do is you've got like tiers of electronics that you can use. So you've got like, obviously the better tiers have much more of a price on them. Um... But you can get like, so Initiate is the first one which has no electronics in it. It's just the hilt. It's for design purposes. It's not actually like a saber at all. It's just the hilt. Warrior, which has like the removable blade and the single blade color. And then most most of them, after Veteran, which has the removable blade, the single blade color and the three sound fonts. Champion doesn't really change from that, except I think it's just a micro USB rechargeable battery as opposed to the AC adapter battery. And then Hero is where it gets serious. Hero has the removable blade, all 12 blade colors, 13 sound fonts, velocity, velocity detecting and smooth swing. So it's when you're swinging it, it makes a nicer noise. These have them. I'll show you what I mean by that. So as you can see there, as I'm tilting it, it's doing the whoom. And then it's also got the, like, um, so it's got the actual, like, sound effects of the swings and stuff like that built in as normal. They have force power effects, which is, like, um, if something was, like, shocking the blade, like force lightning, it has, like, clashes and stuff like that for the force lightning effects, so it's pretty cool. Single switch, I think that just means it's got a single switch to change all of these. It's not like alternate options that you need to do. Uh, Built-in color editor and SD card. So you obviously, that's so you can change the color. Um, and it's got it preloaded, so you don't have to go in every time to change it. You can just change it on the fly. And yeah, so that's, that's the one I'm going to go with is Hero. Because my OC needs a green saber, a purple saber, and then an orange saber. So I need all three of those colors, because that's what I've written my OC to be like. Now, looking at this Reliant Saber, it's pretty cool. However, there is one slight detail which I don't like, which is the pommel. Now, pommel is the end part of the saber. There's, there's four different parts. There's the emitter, which is this section here at the top. There's the switch, which is this part here. And then they have the handle, which is that part. And then the pommel, which is the bottom part. I don't like the pommel art one, I don't like the squareness of it. But what Saber Forge have done? They have this very clever, very, very clever Saber Builder, Virtual Saber Builder. Which, when you click on it, it lets you customize a Saber in 3D. How cool is that? So, what you can do 
it's changed certain parts of it to see what they look like. So, obviously, I don't like my pommel, so I can change the pommel to a different one and see what that looks like. Now, I already know which one I have in mind, and it's going to be, I think it's called Graflex. Let's have a look. Um, beep. Yeah, there is Graflex, Graflex pommel, so swap that out. And there you go, that's on that now. And I think that looks pretty sick. Now, <clears throat> another thing you can do as well is change other parts. So, you can see it's got a wrap on it there. So, what I'm going to do is change that wrap colour. Again, I already know which colour I want to go with. Brown leather. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that looks pretty cool. Also, you can add the blade in so you can see what it looks like fully built. So, you can add the blade... Add the light and you can change the light color to see what one you want so obviously i want the orange one now if i was going for a lower tier you'd want to make sure you know what color you're going with because like i wanted an orange saber one of the color schemes i have is blood orange which is that one now that looks borderline red so i'm not going to go with that one i'd have gone with amber but it doesn't matter for me anyway because I'm getting the Hero Edition which has got all of them. But if you're going to get one of the lower tier ones, double check in the Saber Builder first what colour you're after. And use that one. Because they don't always look the same. So if I swap the background now, you might be like, oh that is too yellow. Let's just try with the Blood Orange. Oh yeah, that looks better. So it depends on which one you want. But check it before you buy it. Or check it before you add it to your cart or whatever. Check in the Saber Builder. So... That's pretty much going to be mine. It's going to be the, the basic build with the brown wrap and the Graflex pommel. Another thing you can do as well is you can see it with different colour hilt. So say before it have like different colour hilts. So they have like a standard one which is the silver. They have a black one. So you can change it to the, if you wanted, or black. Like that. Or you can have it weathered which is kind of like it's still silver but it's got scratches on it which are black oh no oh, that's that one so it's a little bit lighter basically you'll see that in the in the picture um when i go back to it though which is that one so you just can see it's still silver but it's got like it's mainly black so it's just like a weathered look to it and then you've got the old black one there just for comparison so we're going to start building this saber now. So we're going to go with the standard finish. I'm not going to get a powder coat. I'm going to go with the brown wrap. Dark brown wrap. Now what you can do with wraps as well. It didn't show you this in the saber builder. So you're going to have to just play this by ear. You can get a specialty wrap. Now you can get Ito and Paracord. Ito or Ito, I don't know which one it is. I can get Paracord. Ito is kind of like a samurai wrap. So it's what you'd see on samurai blades. Um, or Japanese katanas, stuff like that. Um, if you're interested in getting an Ito or Ito wrap, I'm going to call it Ito. If you're interested in getting an Ito wrap, um, go and check out James's channel. Link's in the description. He bought one with an Ito wrap, and he's going to do a review on his when he gets it. Um, but yeah. Power Record is... I can't really tell from the pictures, but... It looks like it's just like a thread, more of a threading rather than like a leather. So it's like more rope rather than like a leather print. So if you're interested in that, get that one. They don't come in other colors though. They only come in different styles. Um, but yeah, look into that, you know, before you buy it. So dark brown is the one I'm going to go with. Now the Saber Electronics, I'll just show you dead quick. If you go with one lower... You pick basically which one you want. Um, you pick what color blade you want, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to go with this, obviously. Um, you know, do research. If you go with a lower tier and you want to make sure you get it all right, definitely double check online first with someone else who's done like a champion build or like a veteran build or a warrior build, something like that. But for the sake of this video, I'm going with Hero. Now... I'll give you a quick example of the sound fonts. So these are all the hero ones. So they're all they all sound a bit different. So I'm just gonna 
test this now, basically. Essence, episode one. And then we're going to test another one just to see what it sounds like. Velocity. So as you can see, there's different sound fonts that you can go with. So if you don't want the standard sort of like noise, like the the classic, and you wanted more of like a deep hum or deeper version of that, whatever you want to call it, or whatever you want, you can go with that version. But obviously, since I'm going with Aero, I can check all that later on. Uh, energy vibration, that's kind of just, I think, I think this is just like when it's on. So, like, I'll turn this on now and I won't move it. But you can still hear it. So, it's still got the... Oh, oops. But it's still got, like, the hum to it. So, I think that's what energy vibration is. And I do want that. I don't want it to be silent when I switch it on. Um, and keep it on. Blade length, I'm going to go with 32 because the Saber Forge ones... Uh, sorry, the Force Effects ones are all 32 inch. And they're fine. Blade plug. Now, blade plug is this part here. It's basically the end of the hilt where the blade would usually go. But it's if you're not using it. If you just want to use it as a um, a hilt for design purposes or anything like that. It just replaces where the blade is, basically. So, when, you're not, you, when you remove the blade. I'm going to go with the reactor one. Because I don't see anything wrong with it. Cover deck belt clip, I don't want one, because I'm going to belt to clip it on. In fact, the Graflex pommel I'm going to go with, I'm going to have that tied on to my belt, so I don't need the belt clip. Um, warranty, you get a year standard, you can get an extra warranty if you want to, but I don't think I'll, I'll need to. Um, if it goes, Worst case, sorry, if it goes over the warranty and I need to repair on it, I do know a little bit of electronics anyway. So, But obviously, if you don't want that and you spend all this money on a lightsaber that you want to make sure works for at least three years then go for the three-year warranty um but that's gonna do it for me so i'm gonna add that to my cart let's make sure all the details are correct energy vibration special wrap brown standard finish um one thing you will want to check as well because this stunned me is I was originally going to go with the black one, but I changed the finish to black, went through it all and was like, yeah, that's what I want, that's what I want, that's what I want. Got to the bottom and it was sold out. So definitely check your finish first. So check which finish is available and see if you can get it with like your customization. So now that that's in my cart, I'm going to go to the pommels. Now, if you want to change your pommel, if you want to change any other part of the blade, you can get the adaptive saber parts for it, and you can buy them separately. So, obviously, I want to change my pommel, so I'm going to go to the adaptive saber parts, uh, go to saber parts, and then go to the pommel sections. Now, I wanted the Graflex uh, pommel, so I'm going to get that, which is there. Slap that in my car. There you go. So obviously, if you if you're gonna get a different like body or handle or anything of a sort, you can get them as well. Um, obviously, use the saber builder to check it with your lightsaber just to make sure you like the look of it before you buy it, because you don't want to buy it and then be annoyed with the actual build, thinking it doesn't look right or it doesn't look as it should. So definitely use the saber builder before you buy it, before you commit to it. But yeah, so with that aside, I'm going to go and purchase it now. So, Reliance, custom finish, non, wrapped section, dark brown, specialty wrap, non, Saber electronics, hero, energy vibration, yeah, blade length, 32, blade plug, reactor, cover tech belt, no, warranty, one year, it's fine, Raflex pommel, custom finish, non, great, check out. Now, you've already probably noticed that Honey, the free <laughs> Chrome extension, has already found a code for me, um, and it's reduced it from $503 to 452 
So it saved me like $40, $50. Uh, which is great. Now, this isn't sponsored. But if Honey would like to sponsor me, I wouldn't say no. Or the Fish Steaks group. Honey, Honey, if you're watching, sponsor us, Fish Steaks, down in the description. With that said, we don't need to apply the discount because we've already got it. So I'm going to fill in these details and then we're going to see when I come back. So as you can see there, the discount itself has kind of already been overwritten because it's gone back up to 490 with the shipping because uh, it's FedEx International. But that would have been, what, 550 nearly, 540 pounds at dollars even. So yeah. Definitely worth installing Honey on your browser. Not sponsored, but we're still waiting for that sponsorship. Thanks. There we are. Purchased. Now, we wait. Okay, hello. Uh, it's been a while. Well, actually, for you, it hasn't been for you. It's been about 30 seconds. But anyway, for me, it's been a few months now. Um, I ordered this on the 6th of May, and it is now the 9th of September. Granted, I have had this since the 1st of September, so I'm just really late in filming this video. But we're going to go through all the details, we're going to go through all the functions, all the cosmetics, all the features, and just do an overall review of a hero, Saber Forge Blade. So, as I said, first things first, I ordered it on the 6th of May, I, I got it on the 1st of September, it's just about 4 months. So that's how long you're looking for if you're outside of the US, or at least to the UK anyway. Um, could be longer to other places in the world, I don't know. Just to the UK, took about four months. Um, I didn't get anything for a long while. Like I didn't hear about any build process, I didn't hear about anything until about like a week before it was shipped. Um, or the week it was shipped, which was about a week before it arrived. So, expect to not hear anything for a while, but don't worry, they don't forget you. It's just because they don't keep you updated every step of the way, which, to be honest, isn't a bad thing, because it'd get pretty boring. But, anyway, we're going to go through the whole details now. So, I got a Reliant Hero Saber, so it's a Reliant body. Got the brown leather wrap on it, you can see that there. And, um, now I did order a different pommel, which is here, so I'm going to replace that first. Um... So, this is simple, you twist it, and it comes off, and I'm going to make sure I don't drop this now, because it is very heavy. Well, the pommel is anyway. For, for a pommel, it's very heavy. And then, oh, I dropped the other one now. And then the other one is the same, just simple twist on. If I can get it in the right angle. Now, the reason I got this one is because it has this little sort of hook part here, which... I have um, an idea on how to like, it's got a belt clip, this is a belt clip, so you can buy a belt clip and put that on, but I've got an idea to either put rope or to put that on there and have it hanging like that. Um, I don't know yet which one I'm going to go with, probably the rope. But anyway, so that's as easy as just swapping them over. Although I don't think all the parts are like that. I don't think you can just buy all of the parts and do it that easily. Because I think like stuff like the Switch, it's got obviously buttons and, well, it's got a button and a micro USB charger. So obviously it's going to require a little bit more tinkering with it. As well as I think the emitter, maybe the, obviously the body does as well. Because I think that's where most of the electronics are stored. But for the most part, it's easy for the pommel. Um, well, actually, the pommel is just easy. It's not difficult, at least for the ones I had, anyway. So, overall, without the blade in it, it feels pretty sturdy. It is a bit heavy, obviously, but it's got to be, because it's got a lot of electronics in it. Um, yeah, <sighs> there's not much to say about it without... Like, it feels legit. The build, the metal feels good. Um, the leather wrap feels good. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, so you're probably wondering, uh, how do I get the blade in? Well, it ships with the blade plug. Don't know what that was. Ships with the blade plug in. So this is the blade plug here. Um, that's basically just to protect the LED when you haven't got the blade in. 
but it's also a cool little cosmetic design, so it's like it looks legit when you've got it off. Um, to get the blade in, you've got, well, I, on mine at least, I've got a little, tiny little screw at the top of the emitter there. And they send you this little Allen key. So you just loosen that. I'm tightening it there. Loosen that to the degree where it's out. And make sure you don't lose it because it is a very specific screw, I believe. So make sure you don't drop it anywhere and lose it. So Okay, so that's out now. So simply turn it upside down, get the blade plug out. Now you can see the LED. Yep, yeah, it's a pretty powerful LED. Get the blade, stick it in there. And then you just put the screw back in and tighten it up. Now, I don't know if this is the same with all of the blades, but mine's got a bit of like glue sort of stuck there and it makes the light go weird. So I'm just going to put that at the back where it can't be seen for the effect. So I'm going to just put this in, bear with me a second. Now I should probably say while I'm putting this blade back in, um, the sabers have three different modes. It has active mode where the blade is on and the lightsaber switched on. It has standby mode where it's on, but the blade isn't switched on. So it can still receive commands and gestures. Um, and it's got uh, inactive mode, which is basically just power save mode. So it's when the blade hasn't been interacted with for a long time, it just turns off fully. So commands and stuff don't work for it. But the blade's now in. I should probably mention as well, when you're putting the blade in, or even the blade plug, don't tighten it too much because apparently it can damage some of the electronic work on the inside and even the blade or the plug. So just tighten it to the point where you can feel it starts to resist and then maybe, you know, test it if you can wobble it and it doesn't wobble the blade as well separately, then that's probably okay. So that feels good. Um, this is already in standby mode because I was testing it to make sure it had charge, but probably best standing up for this part. So give you a, a look-see. I'm just going to throw my chair over there for a bit. So this is how it looks. With the blade in, 32 inch blade, um, pretty standard. It's a non NeoPixel blade, so it's if you're wondering what NeoPixel is, it's basically a blade where it's got LEDs from the base all the way to the top. Now, that gives for some cool ability for stuff. So, for example, um, if I turn mine on, Hello. you just see it, oh, it fully switched on itself, like. All the way up to the top it didn't do the sort of ignition like in the show where it goes from the base to the top and then sort of if I turn it off as well it doesn't do the from the top to the base basically comparing it to I've got a force effects blade here these got NeoPixel blades so you can see it started at the base went to the top I have to turn it off that's basically NeoPixel. Um, I didn't get one because at the time when I ordered it, there was only. Um, I'm just going to move the mic up. At the time when I ordered it, there was only a 32 inch, ne uh, sorry, 37 inch NeoPixel blade, which I didn't want. But you also can't just buy a NeoPixel blade and adapt that on because they're built differently. So if I bought a Saber, a Saber, Hero Saber, <laughs> trying to get my words out. And got it with a new pixel blade it would be built differently to this one so you can't just buy a hero saber and then buy a new pixel blade and expect it to work because it doesn't work like that basically because in the hero in the normal hero sabers the leds in the fucking hilt rather than the blade itself basically the the hilt just powers the blade for the neo pixel one so Top tip, don't buy a Hero Saber and then expect NeoPixel to work. Buy, if you're going to get a NeoPixel one, buy it with the Saber. So, now we'll go through all the uh, basics. I think we'll first go through the features and then we'll go through all the uh, functions of it. So, I'm going to turn it on first. So, to turn it on is pretty much just press, press the button once. And that turns it on. 
Now, there's a few things you can do. This is active mode. There's a few things you can do in active mode called, like, effects. So if I press the button again, just tap on it while it's on. It does, like, a blaster sound effect. So you can sort of pair that up with, like, a... To make it look like you're deflecting shit. Um, if I was to hold the button down and twist the saber, it does like a force push effect. So hopefully you could hear that. If I do a stab motion, makes a stab effect. Clashes are obviously a thing as well. Um, Trying to think of another one. Oh, you can do saber lock. Now, saber lock is basically like if you're having a clash with someone for a photo, they hit their saber against yours. To activate the saber clash, you hold this down for two seconds, let go, and then press it once. So, I'm going to try and do this first try. So, hopefully, I get it. There we go, got it. So, this is basically if you're like stuck in a clash with someone. And that stays on until you press the button again. So, you can sort of pair it up with like a push away type thing. So that's pretty much all the active functions, uh, features. Um, with NeoPixel, I believe you can also do like tip drags and stuff like that. So if you like drag it along the floor, the top LED will start flashing. The rest of the blade won't. So it'll be like you're sort of cutting through the floor, that type of thing. And um, I think with specific clashes as well, if you clash in a certain place, so if I clash this now, the whole blade goes. But I think with NeoPixel, if you clash it, it just activates where you clash it to just be here. Um, so I'm just going to power it off. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go through the functions now. So if you're like, oh, but I got a hero blade, but it's blue or it doesn't, it's just the stable blade that doesn't do anything. It's because you have to change it. Mine just originally showed up this this way, so I have to change it. Now, to change it, you can either use a saber editor, which I'll come back to later on, or you can just do it from the saber itself. So, to go into the what's known as the effects menu, you have to have the blade in active mode. You have to hold the button down for two seconds, let go, and then hold it down for another two seconds. You'll hear a little bleep. Nope, I just like to be the saber lock. Let me try that again. There we go, so that was it. So now I'm in the effects mode, so none of the other effects, like the force clash, the saber clash, that type of thing, the blaster effect will work in this, because it's a different mode. So this is how you change the color of your blade and also the effect of the blade. So to when you're in the effects menu, you change the color, you just twist. And you can go through this whole cycle of colors, basically to find which one you want. So I'll go through from the top to the bottom. Blue. Slightly lighter blue. Slightly lighter blue again. Slightly lighter blue again. Green. Yellowy green. Yellow. Orange. Red. Pink. Pinkish purple. Purple. And then back to blue. And also you've got like a effects one so to get the effects you can press the button so i'm just going to go to a different color for example um let's go to orange why not and then if i want it to do a different effect i can press it and now it starts the blade starts to blink as if it's like unstable you can do it faster uh faster i should probably put a seizure warning on this part and again faster and then it's got it like sort of Ran sort of randomized. It's not really random, but it looks randomized. So it's kind of like stable-ish, but not really. Um, you've got like pulsating. I don't know if the camera's picking that up there. Hopefully it is. But it's sort of going a darker and then a lighter orange. Doing basically doing the same thing but faster. Doing the same thing but going faster than slower. Um, going slow and then fast and slow 
And then just change into a different colour altogether. I don't know why. That's one of them, but it is. And then basically just the same thing, but faster or slower. So I'm just going to keep it on stable, and I'm going to keep it orange. So once you've got the the sort of blade effect and colour that you want, you just hold down the power button, or the, yeah, the power button, for two seconds, and you'll hear the bleep again. Or for a second, that was. And that saves it. Now you're just back in normal active mode. Um, I will say, if you're if you go past one, you can also it is like depending on which way you're holding it up. So if I go back into the effects mode, say block. So if I was to say one, um, so if I wanted that color but skip past it accidentally, I go oh no, just point the blade down. And twist it again and then yeah you go you've got the one you want basically so it does depend you can go forward by going up and you can go backwards by pre by holding it down um so i think that's everything from the blade itself while it's on so i'm going to turn it off and to turn it off just hold it down for about three seconds that's pretty much everything for the blade while it's on now Another feature of the Hero Blade, you've got different soundboards, and again, you can change the soundboard by either going into the Saber Etta, or you can do it from the Saber itself, but it's in standby mode. And to do that, all you have to do is hold down the power button while it's off for two seconds, and it will change. So I'm currently on Heirloom. If I hold it down, Arminous. it's on Arminous, and again, Ranger's Blade. now it's on Ranger's Blade. They all also have their own presets, so obviously I switched heirloom off while it was purple. If I turn this on Ranger's Blade, it's yellow-ish. Um, so, that's how you change the soundboard, and again, it's the same effect. If you hold it up, it goes forward. If you hold it down, it turns it on, apparently. If I hold it down... Ominous. Nope. Keep turning it on by mistake. Hold it down. Heirloom. Go back to heirloom. That's back to purple. So, that's pretty much what, like one of the two effects you can do in standby mode. You can also increase or decrease the volume. So, if I stab while it's in standby mode. Volume control activated. I've activated the volume control. I can twist it up to go louder. Or twist it down to go quieter. But I want it as max volume, so I'm going to do that. Then just press the power button to save that. So that's pretty much it. Um, now I'll probably go into the, the saber as the side of this because I did say I'd come back to it. You can edit some of this stuff in the saber editor. The only thing for now is book. This is a different type of car like electronic builds that they have they used to use i think it was saber spark 3 or or spark saber 3 something something like that or spark color that is an old soundboard and that is an old electronics board as well they don't use as far as i'm aware anyway they don't use that electronic board anymore they now use a board called golden harvest and the editor for Golden Harvest is still being worked on as of the 9th of September, 2020. So, currently, still waiting for the Saber Editor for this blade. So, some stuff isn't changeable from the blade itself, I imagine. I don't know if there's other stuff. So, if I just turn it on, obviously, it's purple. And if I go into the Saber Lock, it goes orange. I think that goes orange for every blade colour. I don't think it matters what blade colour you had originally. I think it always goes orange. So if you had something like green, Saber Clash, and it goes orange, it's a bit weird. I don't know. Or even the blaster effects. So it's going orange there. I don't know if you can change that to make it go like the lighter or darker purple, maybe. Hopefully you can. But until we get the Saber Editor for the Golden Harvest boards, excuse me, I don't know. Um, I'll probably do another video when the Sab when the Saber Editor comes out for it, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much everything there is to it. Um, 
Yeah, I, I may as well show you the what it's like when charging it. So I'm just going to take the blade on. I'm going to keep the blade in for now. Oops. So again, just charging it standard uh, micro USB, which they give you one. Um, a high quality one as well. You can also view, it's a USB to micro USB, so you can also edit the files that are on the Sabre itself, as well as some of the other settings. Um, sort of like the speed of a clash or, you know, all the, the very nitty gritty side elements of it. So like, um, i trying to think of what I want another example is. The, the speed of a clash, the speed of the sound, the vibration effects, you can also, you can change all of that in the, there's like a little text file on the Sabre itself, on the micro USB, that, oh, sorry, micro SD that's storing all of the presets on this. There's like a text file that controls them all, so you can plug it in and change that. Um, although my advice is, unless you know what you're doing, probably just stick to using the Sabre editor or the inbuilt commands in this, just so you don't fuck anything up, basically. But yeah, so, uh, let's see, I've got a longish micro USB here. All you do, it's plugged into my PC right now, all you do is find the micro USB and just plug it in. And that was the sound of it connecting to my PC. But yeah, so that's now charging. It's You can't switch it on while it's doing this. So you'd have to unplug it and then switch it on. Um, may as well also show you what it looks like while it's on with a blade plug. So you still do get light from it, but it's just very faint. Let's try and see if I can focus this. Yeah. So at this point, basically, it just becomes a glorified torch or lamp or, you know, whatever. But this is the Golden Harvest Hero Saber from Saberforge. Light body, Graflex pommel, brown leather wrap. You get a better idea of the color for the brown leather. Um, I think I covered everything. If I didn't, feel free to drop a comment um, asking me either questions or letting me know if I did a good job of explaining it or if I missed anything. Um, and yeah, hopefully this entices you to buy your own or gives you some idea of what it's like to buy one from the UK, despite the fact that it's an American company. So I'm going to sign off here. Stay tuned for possibly another video where I get the Sabre editor and see what I can change about this. That's not anything on the Sabre itself. If if pretty much if the Sabre editor just changes stuff that you can change from this anyway, I'm not going to do another video on it. But if there's specific features of getting the Sabre editor, then I'll probably do it. Um, so stay tuned for that in the future. Uh, as I said, slap any comments, questions, concerns, experiences down in the comments below. Um, I did also, I should mention, because I keep forgetting it, I got the energy energy vibration for this Sabre, but I didn't notice what that was, whether or not it was just the fact that it was the hum when it was switched on, or if it was the fact that it vibrated a little bit, but I feel like it does that anyway, because the speaker's just in here, so it vibrates the blade anyway. So may not be worth getting the energy vibration, but I'm not sure. I will say that uh, my friend Poison Rogue uh, from the Fish Steaks crew also will or has done these videos. So go and check his channel. He's got two that he's going to review. I think he's got a hero. No, he hasn't. He's got a champion. Actually, maybe he's got two champions. I think he's got two champion builds without energy vibration so go and see check out his channel see what they're like if they're any different or if they're just what you want he's also got day blades which are basically just the normal blades but they're still colored so they look better in daylight um and yeah uh go and check out fish steaks it's our group channel 
uh, I'll leave a comment down below. Uh, comment. I'll leave a link in the description down below for that. So thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you in the future. In a bit. <laughs>